Happy Sunday. I'm going to wait until a few people join. I'm just going to eat my food while I'm waiting. Don't worry about what this is. Hello, Tiffany Hall. How are you, darling? I'm just going to be chatting. We have to hang out and we're like, yes, we do. I'm just going to be chatting about uh, Dragon Con <sighs> on this Raw, Real, and Uncut. Hi, Adrian. I'm just going to give a, just a couple minutes for a few people to get in here um, because I don't want to have to repeat or whatever. I'm about to hit these Uber streets. Go ahead, girl. Do it. Get that Skrilla. Get that Zala, honey. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I just wanted to come in here and talk about Dragon Con. If you're thinking it's over, it's not. There's still one more day. There's still Monday. Monday's usually kind of my relaxed day, so I may or may not go down there. I don't know. I'll just see how I feel. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed the Dragon Con this year. Um, I mean, I pretty much enjoy it every year because, hey, I, I come to Soleil. And as you can see from my headdress this year... I cosplayed as Queen Ramonda of Wakanda. Wakanda forever. Um, but yeah, I just want to come in and talk about Dragon Con really quickly. Um, for those of you don't, who don't know, Dragon Con is basically the same thing as Comic Con, except it's in Atlanta. Um, also, from what I've heard from people that have been to both, I hear that Dragon Con is more fan-based, whereas... Um, Comic-Con has gotten a bit commercialized over the years. Um, you might see someone in what you think is a great cosplay, but it's really just some company that's selling bang drinks or something. So um, so that's the, the feedback that I've gotten from people that have been to both. So just going to quickly talk about my experience this year. Um, I didn't do all the cosplays that I had in my mind. They didn't all come into fruition. I did Lola Bunny. That was, no, let me start from Thursday. Thursday, I did um, what I call Legally Brunette. It was a bunny. It was for the Bunny Hutch. Um, basically, it was the same thing as Legally Blonde, except I was in all black and, of course, brunette hair. Um, that was Thursday. Friday, I did, what did I do Friday? Friday, I did my Lola Bunny. And then on Saturday, Queen Ramonda, and then I just redid her again today just because it just went over so well. And um, I knew the photo shoot was today, and I wanted to have a good time doing that. So um, that's what I did. Yeah. That was just the last bite, so I wanted to get that out of the way. Um, I didn't do as many panels this year. Also, I'm going to show you all, all my goodies that I got from Dragon Con this year. Actually, all of them except one because I don't know where it is because my room looks like a tornado hit it. So, um, I made my own hat. I uh, got the clothes from the thrift store. Uh, my dress, which I really like, the skirt that I really like, um, got that from the thrift store and made some of the jewelry and stuff. Got this from the thrift store too. These are my Kamoya beads so I can communicate. Um, necklace i bought this piece but i made the little charm that went on it but yeah that didn't work out so needless to say i have this still okay i'm gonna get straight into the goodies that i got this year because i'm super excited especially about this first one that i got from the bunny hutch it's actually a two-piece i'm gonna buy the other half of it the other half actually has black panther on it so this I got free for entering the Bunny Hutch contest. So yeah, I just think that's freaking awesome. I'm just gonna put that up somewhere in my room. For you all who don't know, this is a bunny-fied version of Storm. See? They also um, also got a free calendar from them for 2019. So that was awesome. Let's see. I got a little bit of a sweet tooth tonight. So to bear with me while I crack open these muddy bears. Oh, they're looking a little ashy. They still taste good though. Um, 
So you always get this Dragon Con book. It has everything you need to know in it. However, comma, no one ever looks at these. They make great, you know, things to look at post con. But when you when you're in the moment when you're at Dragon Con, you're not like, wait, let me pull out my book. It's even got a map. It's got like a layout of everything that's going on. There you go. All that good stuff. The list of the uh, celebrities when they do their things. I just dropped my gun. My money bears, y'all. That. That's what I get for being greedy. But whatever. So yeah. That's my... This is one of the books that you get. And let me show you the other book. Hey, Jen Jen. Hi, Brandon. <clears throat> You also get this lovely Dragon Con book. I don't know what's in this one. Uh, it's from the Dragon Con store. Okay, it looks like the same thing as the other book. Hi, Tanya. Let me wait for you guys. Also, I got this freaking awesome bookmark. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And it's like metal or something. So this is like good quality. I got this at, um, I also got this at the Bunny Hutch. So, there's that. Let me sit this down. Um, I don't know if you saw my arm yet, but I did give blood. My iron was high enough. So, I got my coveted Dragon Con shirt. I love these shirts. They're exclusive. They're only at Dragon Con. Um, let me angle this down just a smidge. They're only a Dragon Con. It also ha it has the year on it. And it just says that you gave blood, you know. And I'm a blood donor. I'm also a um, sickle cell, um, what is it called? Sickle cell something. I gave um, specifically for a specific patient that needed whole blood. A um, uh, patient that had sickle cell. So, um, so I'm in some special group. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's all the stuff that I got. Um, if anybody has any questions or wants to chat about Dragon Con or have you been to Dragon Con, I would love to, you know, have a little interaction here. That would be cool. I don't know if I have anybody on still. Is anybody still on? Sometimes y'all don't want to talk to me. I don't know why. I don't know what I did. Let's see. Hola, Madre. I've only watched from afar. Would you like to come on and chat about that? <laughs> My mother is watching. How did I get into it? Oh, okay. So about six or seven years ago, I think six, but it might be seven. Um, I decided to go to the Dragon Con parade that I heard so much about. I'm like, oh yeah, they have this parade. And I was like, okay, well, let me go ahead and um, go. I found out that you could dress up. So what I did was I went to Spencer's and I threw together a really quick cosplay. It was basically just a Batgirl costume. So I, it was like what I think is supposed to be like a nightgown or something or a nightshirt. Um, it was tank top style. It had a little Batman symbol in the middle and it had a cape. That's it. So I went to Party City and I got a little black mask to put over my eyes. Put on a little black lipstick. Um, cinched my waist in. I was corset training at the time too, but not heavily. Put that on, put my little belt on top of it, which I think is actually the belt that I'm wearing today. I put that belt on top of it, and it looked cool, and so I went. Went with my mom, actually. And when I tell you that it was so much fun, I was like, hold on, wait. Because I'm not a big Halloween person. I only went to a couple Halloween parties before. I was like, wait, it's not Halloween, but I get to dress up have fun and nerd out with the rest of my people what why has it taken me so long to get into this so i decided to um yes you did mommy i said that already i think i did my mom went with me went with, went with me um so yeah after that i was hooked looked and did some research found out what it was found out it was the whole weekend 
It pretty much starts on Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, five days. Um, and yeah, it was just, I just had such a good time. So I started planning my cosplays. The first year I went though, something hadn't registered and like my cosplays were so freaking hot. I was Black Widow. That's long sleeves in case you didn't know that. Um, who else was I? I did a Michonne. I think I did a Michonne that year. But the main thing I remember was Black Widow and it being so hot. And I had on a red wig, so that made it even more hot. Ooh, honey. I was like, okay, we're going to have to start wearing less clothes. Now I know why them girls need to be so skimpy out here because it's hot and they don't be wanting to wear all the clothes. So, um, so yeah, that was what I learned the first year, um, my first year of going to Dragon Con. That you want to try to make it um, weather friendly if possible. Oh, also, it didn't rain at all this year, so I'm so happy about that because the forecast looked kind of shaky earlier. Um, so, yeah, that's how I got into it. And, of course, I don't know if you know this, but I act as well. Um, not quite professionally yet. Hey, Ronnie. That's my cousin. She went with me last year, and she came. Uh, she went with me this year, too. Um, what else? Hi, brother. My brother's here. But, yeah, I act as well. I don't know if you know that, Tiffany. I act as well, so... This is like right up my alley. I get to act like a character and dress up and be treated like a celebrity that I will one day be. Why not? So, um, so yeah, that's why I, that's how I got into it. Any other questions or does anyone want to come on? You say you've only watched from afar. I'm wondering why I'm just, I'm, I'm just curious. Like, is it because of the traffic? Are you just not into that? Do you have any nerdums? You're a writer, so I'm like, I'm pretty sure you have some nerdums. I remember from me being your Uber driver. Oh, yeah, we did talk about that. Yep. We, we got to get together. We really got to get together. Like, I need to put that on the calendar and be like, this is happening this day. We will chat afterwards. Um, yeah. What else? I'm actually very into it. Just haven't done it. But, yeah, if you're not, like, out of town on Labor Day weekend and you're in the city of Atlanta and you can pack your patience with you, then I say definitely go experience Dragon Con. Thank you, brother. My brother said I look great. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's it's best if you have someone to help you and to kind of walk you through it. Um, so if I need to be that person, I can totally be that person. Um, but it's just, it's good to have a partner in crime or not in crime. <laughs> Thank you. Tiffany said I looked amazing. Thank you. And I mean, you get to kind of be like a celebrity for a day. So like, how much fun is that? Like loads, take pictures and all that good stuff. So. I say go for it, especially if, like, you do like to dress up. You don't have to dress up, but that just makes it so much more fun to me. Next year? All right. Now, I might have a boot thing next year. <laughs> so, you know, I'll, I'll have to see how we can all, like, intermingle and make that happen, you know. But, you know, just be on the lookout for that. Uh, wifed up 2018. Um, anyway, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm down either way. Um and they have, like, single stuff, too. So, like, if you're going to go on, like, party and meet people, have speed dating events. I didn't do any of the single stuff this year round. This year round, but they have tons of stuff. Like, there's stuff for every nerdum that's out there. If you like Game of Thrones, if you like video games, if you like anime, if you like movies, Marvel versus DC, if you like cosplay, like, they have panels for everything. The one... Speaking for you. Oh, okay. Me and you both watched up 2018. Yes. Um, <laughs> what was I about to say? Oh, the panel that I went to that I was I had to leave out. Well, I didn't have to leave out. It, it ended. But honey, I was at the Once Upon a Time um, panel, which hopefully my other friend, Adrian, that my next door neighbor, hopefully she sees a little clip from that. Um, the Once Upon a Time ta panel had Jennifer Morrison in there. Um, she was also on House, if you know that show as well. I think she, start, she started on House. I mean, she did other stuff too, but House was like probably her main big breakout thing. And then, of course, Once Upon a Time. Um, so she was there, and I was like struggling. And I, I, like, I really liked the Once Upon a Time show. Uh, mommy said she wants to go and dress up next year. Do it, Mommy! What's holding you back? Let's do it! You just got to plan ahead so you're not running around the last minute like me. I planned ahead, but I was still running around the last minute because I didn't do everything that I said I was going to do. But that's neither here nor there. But yeah, there's plenty of panels, celebrities. Um, they do uh, autograph sessions, photo sessions. If you want to purchase that, of course, that costs more. 
um, the ticket for Dragon Con, if you get it the year before, is only 75 bucks. You go downtown, if you decide next year that you're like going 100%, you go downtown, t well, I guess it would have been earlier today or tomorrow, and you can actually purchase your ticket for next year. Also, you can do, the, you can do that um, online as well. So those are two very good options. Um, so you can get it for seventy five bucks. After um, after that, I think it's like one twenty five, and then it goes up to like one fifty at some point or whatever. But um, if you plan ahead and you know there's something you want to do, I say definitely um, get your ticket now. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. This is gonna kind of be a, a short, maybe short. Let me see what time it is. Yeah, this is a pretty short Why Are We Gonna Cut. Um, anybody have any questions for me about Dragon Con? Um, I'd love to answer them. Um, if not, I will go ahead and wrap this on up and eat like one more gummy bear. That's a chocolate covered gummy bear. If you're one, if you're wondering, they're called muddy bears. That's my box. Mm. Anywho. Do I have a background in makeup? I do not have any background in makeup. I have a YouTube in makeup. Um, <laughs> I learned everything I, um, about makeup off of YouTube. Honestly. Um, I'm going to have to do my brows from Beat Face Honey. Y'all might know her. She's pretty famous. Um, yeah, and that's it. What I need to do with makeup is find out how to like take this shine down. Like I have stuff that I can continuously apply. But I'm like, is there any other thing... That can make me not shiny throughout the day. But if y'all got something, let me know. <laughs> also, my zombie makeup that I did. Another YouTube person. This hat that I made. Found somebody that made one on YouTube already. That's it. That's my glow. <laughs> okay. I will, ma'am. I will definitely keep shining. Um, I guess that's it. All right, well, it was nice chatting with you all. <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany. Tiffany said, I'm the ish. Okay. Um, I'll probably post one of the really good pictures of me and Justice Queen Romana, and I'll see if I can get people to tag Angela Bassett in it because it would be lovely to, like, get to meet her one day or have her mentor me. I don't know if that's asking too much. I don't think it is. Have her mentor my acting career that would be awesome so i will post a um a picture thank you mommy that's my mommy <laughs> um i will post um i'm gonna try and upload the pictures i got so many darn pictures so i'm gonna try and start uploading them tonight i was supposed to do that last night i uploaded my eyelids to my bottom eyelids and i went to sleep so that's it that's all i got um if i go downtown tomorrow which i probably will i will get some more footage um, and that's it. Um, everybody have a wonderful evening. This has been a May You Robert and Uncut Dragon Con edition. And I will see you all next time. Bye.